In modern uh, use of, of carpentry, if, if something it's hard to do and everything, we use a bigger tool or something, you know. With this, we really have to use the, the way the, 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 the tree is shaped. Christophe Chateauvert doesn't have the luxury of a power saw. He's helping to build a castle using only the methods and tools of the 13th century. We need to get that red line to the, to the other red line. Because that red line, it's, uh, it's, kinda, it's the level of, of the A-frame. The French-Canadian carpenter used to work on movie sets in Quebec and is now getting an even bigger thrill on this unique project, where even basic tasks take on greater importance when working this way. The castle, called Guédelon, is hidden away in a corner of France's Burgundy region. Begun in 1997, the decades-long construction process itself is as important as the final result. It's to construct a 21st century castle to understand how people worked in the Middle Ages. And it's become a fabulous human adventure with a team of stone carvers, masons, carpenters and quarry workers who, with their know-how, are transforming these stones that we see here into this magnificent castle. We have one element that no scientist, no archaeologist will find on an excavation day, and that's the workers. It's the men who build. The gestures, how worksite is organized, how they raise up material, etc. One of these methods is to use a human hamster wheel to raise up the stones going to the roof to complete the tower. The work is hard, and the walking is done in shifts. Sociologically, Guédelon doesn't function like a 21st century enterprise. There's a kind of rhythm. You see the workers arriving leisurely in the morning, everyone taking up his or her position, and they know exactly what they need to do that day. It's true that today we live in front of our computers where you can construct and deconstruct a castle in several minutes. For us, it's going to take 25 years to build it. But I think that's what is making Guerrero a success. People come each year to see where we are with it. Some 315,000 people have visited each year to see the castle, and the site is now completely self-sustaining through admissions and concession profits. I'm almost there. Here we go. Et voila! When you do it with the mechanical tools and everything, it's nice to have the, the, the nice and the, the finish and everything. But like this, to start with some raw wood, do it all with your hands, it's just amazing. <laughs>